We will do some more questions on colligative property and concentration. Calculate the amount of calcium nitrate to be added to 50 milliliter of water to get a 24.5% mass solution. Density of water is given. So what is this? Let's before starting it, let's understand the questions. You need to prepare a 24.5% by mass solution. And the amount of water you want to add in it is only 50 milliliter. Density is given so I can get the mass of water. So I need a 24.5% solution in which I have added a mass of water uh, equivalent to the 50 milliliters after converting it to mass using the density. So when I say 24.5%, what I mean by that is I have 24.5 grams of calcium nitrate in 100 gram of solution. You have to just calculate for the amount of water they have asked, how much of calcium nitrate you have to add. So, uh, in 100 gram of solution, I have, which means it has the mass of calcium nitrate plus the mass of water. And the mass of calcium nitrate is 24.5. Therefore, mass of water will be equal to 100 minus 24.5, that is 75.5 grams. So, now let's see in the question how much of water they have asked for. Volume of water is given convert that into mass and I get 50.1 grams. So, uh, just set up the equation 24.5 grams of calcium nitrate times 50.1 grams of water divided by 75.5 grams of water and the grams of water gets cancelled and I get the amount of calcium nitrate as 16.3. Just to verify what we have done is right, uh, we are going to add 16.3 grams of calcium nitrate in 50.1 grams of water plus 16.3 grams of calcium nitrate and let's see whether it comes to 24.5 and the calculation shows that the answer is right. 4.505 liters of an antifreeze solution was added to 8.52 kilogram of water and it causes a freezing point depression of negative 17.6 dB Celsius. Calculate the molar mass of the antifreeze solution Density of the antifreeze solution is given. So, any time molar mass is asked, the safe bet is you have to calculate the molarity or the molality. This is the case in which the freezing point depression is given. Therefore, we have we can calculate the molality. So, use the formula delta Tf equals Ikfn. Calculate the molality and I get uh, molality equals 9.46. And uh, once the molality is uh, obtained, Using the mass of water given, I can get the moles. And once the moles are uh, obtained, I can get the mass of the antifreeze also because the volume of the antifreeze is given and the density is given. So I get the mass of antifreeze is 5001 grams. So I have the moles and we know the formula moles equals gram over molar mass. I have the mass of the antifreeze, I have the mole of the antifreeze substituted into the formula and I get the molar mass as 62.4 grams per mole. Calculate the percent magnesium nitrate by mass in a 4.20 molar aqueous magnesium nitrate solution. So let's start with the formula which we are already familiar with. Molality is given. So molality equals moles over kilogram of solvent and what is asked is percent by mass which is equal to mass of solute divided by mass of solution times 100. So, or in other words, I need the mass of solute and mass of solution to calculate the percent by mass. So, from the molality, using the formula, I can get the moles of magnesium nitrate. That's equal to 4.0 mole. Using the molar mass of magnesium nitrate, I can get the mass of magnesium nitrate. That's equal to 623 grams. So, once I got the ma <coughs> mass of the solute, I need to get the mass of the solution. Molality means the it is moles per kilogram of solvent. Therefore, mass of solution will be equal to 1000 grams of the solvent plus 623 grams of the solute. That's equal to 1623 grams. So, now I have the mass of the solute. I have the mass of the solution. Substitute into the ma formula percent by mass and I get the percent by mass as 38.4. Calculate the mole fraction of ammonia in a 45.2% aqueous ammonia solution. So, when the mole fraction is asked, it means you need to calculate the moles of ammonia and moles of water. And once I have both the moles, I can calculate the mole fraction. 
So let's just calculate the moles, uh, moles of ammonia. 45.2% ammonia means I have 45.2 grams of ammonia in 100 grams of solution. That means mass of ammonia is 45.2 grams. And the moles of ammonia will be using the molar mass. I can get the moles of ammonia as 2.65. So, after getting the moles of ammonia, let's calculate the moles of water. Mass of water will be the mass of solution minus the mass of the solute. And therefore, mass of water comes as 54.8. Again, using the molar mass of water, calculate the moles of water. So, now the question becomes simple. I have the moles of ammonia. I have the moles of water. And the mole fraction for ammonia will be molar moles of ammonia divided by the total moles. And I get mole fraction as... 0 0.466